to set up your registration form, select Registration. PlayHQ has standard registration questions across all registration forms, but clubs have the ability to add extra questions if they would like to gather additional information at the time a participant registers. These can be added into the Custom Fields section. Select Custom Fields and New. Enter the question you would like to ask in the field. In this example, we want to know whether the player played last season to help with our team allocations. When creating a custom field, you can provide participants with a text box to provide an answer or a drop down list so they can select their answer. Use the mandatory tick box to determine whether this question will be mandatory or optional to answer. If mandatory is ticked, participants will not be able to progress with their registration without answering the question. Next, select which role types you would like to answer this question. Players are only required to answer this question, therefore the other role types can be unticked. Select Create. Further to this, a conditional custom question can be created to follow on from the original question. Select New to create another question. Here we are going to ask which team the player played in last season and select a text box for them to provide an answer. Scrolling down, toggle conditional field on to ensure this question is a follow-up to our original question. Select the question from the box and select which answer the participants need to provide in order to be shown this question. In this example, all players who answer yes to they played last season will be presented with another question, what team did you play in? Select create. Once you have created your custom fields, select forms. Clubs can choose between two registration forms. The first option this video will demonstrate is the participant to club registration form. Every participant registering to this competition would register via the same registration link and an administrator would allocate participants to teams. Select set up form. First, enter the dates your registration form will be available. Outside of these dates, participants will not be able to register to your club. Clubs can edit these dates at any stage if they need to close registrations early or extend the registration period. You can view any registration fees set by other organisations such as your association or sporting body. These fees will be passed down to your participants. These fees will be paid by participants at the time of registration and dispersed directly to those organisations bank accounts. You don't need to add these amounts to your fees. Enter your club registration fee in the player fee box. Again, this fee will be paid at the time of registration and dispersed directly into the club's nominated bank account. Advanced registration fees offers flexibility when setting your club's registration fees. Clubs can choose to set age and gender advanced fees or fee variants. Clubs are not able to set both age and gender and fee variants. Age and gender registration fees will calculate a participant's age and gender at the time of registration and charge the appropriate fee based on the parameters a club enters. Enter the date you would like a player's age to be calculated, enter the age range, gender, amount and a description of the fee. In this example, anyone aged between 8 and 18 on 1st of July will be charged $120. Anyone aged 19 and over will be charged $150. Fee variance allows clubs to set up different fee categories and players choose which fee they will pay from a drop-down list at the time of registration. This differs from age and gender fees as it gives players the flexibility to choose which fee they pay. Select variance and enter the fee description and amount. To add another category, select Add Option. Clubs will be able to view which fee a player selected in the transaction report. Enter fees for the other role types registering to your club if applicable. Any custom fields created earlier will automatically appear in the registration form. To edit these, you will need to navigate back to Custom Fields. Add in any merchandise products you would like to sell at the time of registration. Any products created will appear in the drop-down list. 
Once you have selected your products, use the boxes to determine which roll types will be presented with the option to purchase the product and whether this product will be mandatory to purchase. Enter a limit on how many items each participant can purchase if applicable. Enter any pricing or additional information you would like participants to be aware of when registering. These will be displayed on the registration form. Toggle on terms and conditions if you would like these to be added to your registration form. The terms and conditions entered in your organisation's overview will be added to your registration form and each participant will need to accept your terms and conditions. Lastly, set the visibility status of your registration form. If set to visible, your registration form will be available on public sites. Some clubs choose to keep their form hidden from the public and share their registration link with their players. Select Save once you are happy with your registration form. The registration form has been created and a unique link has been created. This can be shared with all participants to register for the upcoming season. The participant to team registration form creates a unique registration link for every team. Players register directly to the team and it removes the step of admins allocating players to teams. To set up a participant to team registration form, select set up form. This is the same process as setting up a participant to club registration form. Enter all fields and select save. To access the registration links, navigate to each team and within the team details, each team will have a unique link. This link can be copied and shared with the relevant participants to register to their team.